Great fighting, Swanee. Great fighting. Way to hang in there. Come on, yeah. She's playing great. Come on. What's that? No, you're playing great. Yeah, she's playing great. She's allowed to do that. Yeah, she's ripping every ball. She's playing top five tennis. Good for her. And what, what can you do about that? Stay tough. Yeah, stay tough. Keep fighting. Run every ball down. Change the pace. Maybe a few. Yeah, but you know, change. You know, heavy loopers. Maybe some slice. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So just keep fighting. That's the main thing. What you said. She's playing. She's playing. You're gonna. You're gonna get your chance. Yeah. She's played phenomenal tennis. So guys, this video really got my attention and it's very interesting to see how uh, Team Great Britain was led to victory in the United Cup against uh, Team Australia by Tim Henman, which is a very, very solid win. And uh, it's very interesting to see how Tim Henman is able to coach Katie Swan. He can clearly see that she's struggling in the match. She's 5-2 down. But, um, you know, he's using the sandwich technique uh, very, very efficiently here. And, you know, the way he's uh, not just praising her opponent to make Katie feel better, um, you know, uh, and basically reminding her that it's not her fault that, you know, she's uh, she's down in the set. But also, along with that, he's praising her and, you know, he's telling her the technical stuff that she can add to her game to uh, win the points against uh, against her opponent. Um, adding loop loopers to, to the game, changing up the pace, adding variety. And uh, that clearly shows you also complimenting her and asking her to stay tough. So um, this is very, very nice to see because as a player, you can understand how certain words can make you feel on the tennis court, even when you're struggling. Then, then she'll be saying, then she's saying, oh, hang on a minute, Rafa's in the box and I've got to win this. Yeah, great. I wish I could have played my match as with it. Tim sitting next to me. Every point. You're hitting it great. She's absolutely flat balling it just from corner to corner. She hits winners. Yeah, come on, this is it. Fight, fight, fight. You're all over this one. Come on, you're serving great. Come on. Get that fist pump going. Here we go. Come on, Swanee. You can do this. I've just got a smile on my face. I feel like I could listen to that all day. So motivating from Tim Henman. So guys, as we all know that psychology plays a huge role in sports and uh, we can see how Tim is psychologically boosting up Katie Swan as well. He's, um, you know, not just telling her about the technical stuff and changing up the pace, changing up the ball game. You know, um, not just uh, coaching her technically, but he as a player understands how important the role of psychology plays in sports. And that's exactly what he's doing by pointing out the fact that Rafa is sitting in the box and he knows exactly that Katie's opponent is under pressure here because the whole pressure of winning is on her. And... Um, this is where, you know, Katie can play freely. She can hit through the ball. She can, you know, just uh, swing at the uh, swing at the ball and just swing her racket and, you know, basically uh, go for it because she has nothing to lose. And all the pressure of winning is on her opponent. So this is where, you know, Tim is pointing out that when she wins a point, she needs to look at the box where Rafa is sitting and uh, that is going to put a psychological pressure on her opponent and make her realize that, She's the one losing the point and Katie is the one winning the point. And uh, that clearly puts twice as much press pressure on you um, when you have someone like Rafael Nadal, who's a tennis legend, sitting there and watching you play and when all the pressure of winning is on you. And as you can see, clearly it helped Katie. She led Great Britain to a 2-0 victory and being down 5-2 in the first set, she won the whole match. And she played some tremendous tennis and handled the pressure well with Tim Henman's coaching from start to finish.